Here we have the Durant Cricket Home Academy. We have the six metre net with four turf screws. Uh, don't need any concrete at all. They just screw into the ground, can be taken out and backfilled at any time. Six metre flix pitch, set of stumps with zinger bales and the Bowler Junior bowling machine. Ideal for anybody's back garden. Simple to set up, easy to use and can be taken down totally in the winter. The flix pitch can be rolled up, the stumps put away, the net stored away nicely for the winter and the bowling machine put away. We also offer the option of a 12 metre flix pitch with a 12 metre net with the same bowling machine, uh, depending on how much space you've got, um, the age of the child, um, whether you want to practice short pitch bowling a little bit more. So they're your two options. Ideal for home practice, allowing you to sort of groove your shots and uh, dad to be using the bowling machine, so not wearing his arm out. The flix pitch uh, does need some slight preparation on the surface. The grass should be cut short, uh, compacted if possible. The better the sub base, the better it will perform. Um, it can't really be just rolled down onto rough ground or long, long grass. You do need to prepare the surface beforehand to give yourself a consistent bounce. Um, so yeah, just basically cut the grass short. If you can give it a sort of light rolling and make sure there's no imperfections in it, um, then you will get good bounce and good performance from it. When the grass grows up through it, you can mow over the top of it. So then it sort of does knit with the grass um, and that will give you a, a lot more stable performance. It, again, it's one of those things where you could, if you wanted to, take it up after every time you've used it, or you could leave it out all winter, all summer. It's UV stabilized, um, no issues. It's totally weather resistant. So if you wanted to leave it out, you could do. But if the, if the mum wants the garden back in, in September, then again, this can all be took up and moved, entirely up to you. That's the whole idea, the flexibility with it, really. So the unique selling points would be um, no concrete on the sockets, uh, wound in with a turf screw, therefore able to be unwound, backfilled. So if you ever moved house, or you wanted to even extend it to 12 metres, you could do. Um, no building working you know, in, you know, involved with that, no big lumps of concrete into the, into the ground. Um, a roof net obviously to stop balls from flying here, there and everywhere, which is important in the back garden. Um, the flix pitch uh, that enables uh, the bounce of the ball um, can come with coaching markings on it, so if you wanted to include some coaching markings, again modular, so if you wanted to move this to 12 metres when the child got a bit older and you wanted to buy another 6 metres to clip onto the end of it, can be done. Um, also the flexibility of the net, the fact that the side bits can be used as a throw down net as well if you wanted to. The, again the net is modular so the two sides, the back and the other side and the roof all detachable. So you could literally just have that piece up there if you wanted to just do some throw downs from the side or some fielding practice. Um, the bowling machine uh, is, a, is a bowler junior, you know, a very, very, well the only sort of brand out there as far as bowling machines um, or just doing bowling machines are, are, are concerned. Um, also acts as a fielding machine, you can do some good fielding practice with that, have this as a backup so you can be throwing the balls in and practicing uh, throwing them in. Um, so yeah, complete flexibility and also the cost, you know, you're looking at um, you know, five, six, seven thousand pounds for a permanent batting end um, with metal framework. Um, if you move house, that's, that's mostly got to stay there. You can take bits of it, but it's going to cost you money to move it, where this is all totally portable. You can move it, as I say, add to it, do whatever you want, really. All be stored in the garage if you want to. Um, the whole idea of it is that we're trying to hit a price point where, you know, if somebody wants something to encourage their child when they're eight, nine, ten years old, we, we think it's affordable enough that they can just turn around and say, well, right, we'll invest that money, but at least then you've got it. So if you did want, if the child did not continue with their cricket so much you've got an asset there that you can sell the netting system similarly you know the sockets are removable so it can be moved somewhere else if you move house you can move it somewhere else same with the bowling machine you, you, you know you're buying a reputable brand with lots of backup so so yeah that's that's what we're trying to do the maintenance of it basically would be as I say preparing the, the, the surface before you put the flix pitch down mowing over the top of it um, we would advise taking the net down in the winter and then sliding the poles even if you leave the sockets there. I suppose belt and braces is to take the sockets out um, and obviously the bowling machine doesn't want to be stored outside, that wants to be stored inside. But that's pretty much it really. The great bit of this is that if, if that bit of net got damaged you can replace that bit, it's all modular, you don't have to replace the whole lot. Um, we do do a vermin skirt if, if people do want that along the bottom of the nets. You know, there is issues with rabbits and things like that. Just trying to make it as flexible as possible uh, in terms of what you use it for and when you use it. 
um, cost effective, you know, trying to hit a price point where it's not over the top for somebody to want to encourage their child if you've got the space in your garden. The bowling machine, depending on the size of them, the balls are, you know, you, you really should be using um, sort of five-year-olds up to your sort of 11, 12-year-olds when they're using hard balls. Um, I think it, it, it's good for, but the reason of us having the 12 meter batting and the 12 meter net is when they do get that little bit older, you can actually just purchase that little bit more and bolt on a bit more space and um, you know a bit a bit more length on the on the on the, on the batting end. Great for kids' parties, yeah. Great for saving dad's arm, bowling loads of balls all the time, and, and sort of I, I think probably six to eleven years old is, is your prime. But it's, okay. there's no nothing to stop the dad from wanting to go and have a little hit at the end there. You know, it's it's all there. It's it can be used, um, and just getting away from the old. You know, there was nothing in between. Uh, your guy ropes and runners which were collapsing all over the place and everybody was tripping over in the pavilion and your sockets that are concreted into the ground which are permanent and have to be dug out if you move. This is something in the middle that we think gives you a lot more flexibility in what you're doing. You've got three sort of brands there that are all really reputable and all do good gear and we're just kind of trying to bring them all together and market it as because we've got that market if you like. People are ringing us up all the time. It's, it's, a, it's a demand. You know, I'm getting rung up all the time people saying um, I'd like something from my back garden, what yeah. do I want? And you're like, well, how much space have you got? What's the ground like? And all we're trying to do is get something that we can literally have there and just send them, right, you want the six metre system, it's going to cost you X, you want the 12, okay. it's going to cost you Y. You've got to have at least four metres uh, in the width. Yeah. Obviously, if you're using the 12 metre batting end, yeah. you, the minimum the bowling machine can be is about 12 metres away. But, you know, that will give you, for a young child, you know, you can bowl at them, even bobble feeds, you know, to, it can bounce twice with the bowling machine when they're hitting it from 10 meters away so minimum would be 12 meters by 4 meters uh, I would say you can probably come a little bit closer maybe 10 meters with the bowling machine but as they get older they're going to want yeah. a bit more pace it just cuts down the reaction time um, but but yeah 12 meters by 4 meters and also clearly if your garden's like that we, we're going to struggle you're as good as the sub base like anything yeah. you know you've got a nice flat area that you prepare properly the ball will behave properly if you don't you know, expect this. Don't blame the pitch. You know, yeah. it's not that. It's not that far. That's the consistent bit. You know.